Ten Commandments, Gospel Track. What is it? What is it? The Ten Commandments, the law oh, of God. I know. My dad's ordained. Ah, you know someone who needs it though. We all do, right? You can keep it going. Thank you. One for your kiddos, if you like. What are they? The Ten Commandments. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know the gospel? The what? I do. Well, what, what would you say the gospel is? It's not a book. What's that? It's not a book. Well, it's it's in a book in the Something Bible. Something you feel here. Something that God gave you in here that you were meant to spread. And I trust you. I believe you. My dad, like I I know all about it, buddy. I gave my whole oh, yeah. life to it. <laughs> Uh, I was actually homeschooled. Oh. I was, I was definitely into it. Something changed though. Oh, what changed? Well, because everything that was foretold was not foretold. <laughs> Mentally, physically, to a little girl, it's like happily ever after. But, but when you actually see what, what. What life is. It's hard to grasp, you know? It's hard to grasp. I'm not just, you know, I, I do know. What do, you, what do you think you stand before God today, right, right now? He sees me as me. And I pray to him every night. And I hope he accepts me for me. Well, yeah, if you've repented of your sins and, and trusted in Jesus Christ alone for salvation. I've repented a few times. I just never know which one is the last time. What, no. Which one is what? So like the last time? Mm -hmm. Well, like, yeah, because Jesus said to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right. And, like, how do you know if you've actually, like, truly repented? Do you know what that word, do you know what that means, repent? But what do you think it means? To realize all the sins you have, have cost the world. Well, it, the... Stand the, before the pearly gates and say, hey, I have failed you. He, like, he does have that. Like, he does have the ability to say, hey, thank you. But there's also a way that we repent and he knows we're not. I don't need this today. Oh, you know someone who does though, right? We all do. Even in our own families. I know I do. Okay, take it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, my dad's ordained. I've been to Trinidad and Tobago on mission trips. I've been there, buddy. I've seen fucking people levitate. I've seen, I've seen Satan, and I've seen, I've seen. Likewise. That, dude. Do you, would you say you're practicing righteousness or, or practicing sin as a lifestyle? I'm practicing learning what I want to practice. I'm practicing learning why I'm here on this earth, why God put me. Oh, well, that I can, get, I can tell you that. Here to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. I used to sing in His worship. I used to praise Him, glorify Him. Just learning. So, did, um, did you turn away from it? Or? I did. So. It. it was because of, you know, malpractices, mm -hmm. evil practices. They were but, supposed to be godly, and they weren't. Within the churches? Within the church? The church, yes. Well, there's, yeah, there's a lot of wickedness in the churches. I mean, there. And you never know. You never know. But I'm gonna have my own connection with God. Thank you very much. I will pass your card on. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for talking with me.